yeah, stay on the road for at least six months, hopefully a, a full year if we can afford it, is just see how we can go. We don't have a real plan, so just kind of going with the flow. Ano hai seyo? Che Edelman Peyton. Imira. Che Edelman Aaron. Imira. I just graduated from the University of North Texas with my engineering degree, and we just started life on the road, and I love it. I'm Aaron. I'm a contractor, and like she said, we just started life on the road. We've been out for here for a month, and we're loving it so far. So, what made you the road? What made us hit the road? Hmm. We've been talking about it for a couple of months and we just decided we didn't want to keep living in the city and just dealing with traffic and cars and all of that. So we decided while we were young and had the opportunity to just hit the road, live out, live out of the trailer and try it out. Exactly. Time to get out of Texas and explore the U.S. a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, what about the work? Work, work uh, is not too too hard to come by for me because i can work city to city because i'm a contractor so as long as i have my tools i can can work where i am and then work for me i kind of need wi-fi because i do tutoring online so that's what i do for work right now so as long as there's wi-fi or i have my hot spot i'm good hot spot cell phone service is kind of key when it comes yeah. comes to work yeah. which is a pain when you're trying to go way way out to boondock for sure for sure we plan on at least a year. I mean, it's, yeah. it's only we've been going since October, and we want to want to make it until next winter for sure. Mm -hmm. Through the through the summer to go up to Washington and see all, see all yeah. the states that are too cold right now. Yeah, stay on the road for at least six months, hopefully a, a full year if we can afford it. Is just see how we can go. We don't have a real plan, so just kind of going with the flow. A little nomadic lifestyle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I grew up in an RV, so I have a lot of experience camping in an RV. Um, so we kind of decided, whenever we decided this, we were thinking, let's do hotels first, try to go hotel hopping, but that didn't seem affordable. No, way, way too expensive. Right, so we were actually looking at class C's first, you know, like more like a van, RV all together, mm -hmm. and then we got to this point because um, of price and of pri and we can drop the trailer and use the truck for work exactly. so we can use it you know it's the truck it has multiple purposes other than just having one van just to live out of and drive around so it's what works for work for us this rig looks new brand new yes. and also pricey expensive <laughs> <laughs> could you introduce a little bit about your rigs the rigs uh, yeah. it's, uh, yeah. 20, it's a 2019 ram 2500 has the cummins 6.7 diesel um our the last truck i had it wasn't a, a diesel and could only pull about five thousand pounds this one can pull twenty thousand so mm. it barely even seems like the trailer's there when you're pulling it and there's no swaying when you're going down the road or anything like that because a lot of times when you're driving with the trailer semis will pass and everything and you get a lot of mm. a sway movement i mean yeah. you're really having to stay straight on the road mm. so that helps out a lot Oh. How much do you pay for this? This it was yeah. forty thousand. Forty thousand. Yes. Okay. Four by four. Yes, wow. it is off road. Yes. It's nice. That was my Good requirement. Day. That was her requirement. <laughs> four four by drive. four. <laughs> yeah, four by four. You yeah. didn't want to get stuck yeah. anywhere. Should be four by four. Yeah, yeah. this exactly. kind of role. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so beautiful and <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. This is my baby. I, yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it looks nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is our um, trailer. It's a 2108 Winnebago. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's 21 feet without the hitch. And then with the hitch, it's a full. 22 feet so it's nice and short <laughs> good um it's really compact it only has one slide on the other side mm -hmm. um but the good thing about it is it's dual axle so it can yeah. carry a bunch of weight so most that was, that was one of our main things looking to when you mm -hmm. buy a trailer is a lot of them don't have a high cargo capacity so yeah. they look super nice on the inside and everything but they don't carry a lot of weight and this one carries 3,000 pounds which it's a decent amount. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. Most trailers only carry around a thousand extra yeah. weight. Mm -hmm. So for full-time living, that was something important to us. So we decided to get this one. Do you have solo on the roof? I no, wish. We, we don't have solo. That's our 
that's our next ad adventure to go on and, yep. and figure out solar and how to hook up the inverter and everything right now well we have two batteries right here mm -hmm. this is what we mainly go off of and whenever these drain all the way out we have mm -hmm. a generator that uh charges the batteries up mm -hmm. and uh also another good feature is when it with this truck has a charge controller mm -hmm. so whenever you hook the lights up the lights plug in right here yeah the batteries charge also right so mm -hmm. batteries yeah. are always charging good. yeah and we actually just found out that the usb ports inside run off the battery mm -hmm. so we don't have to be connected to the generator to charge our phones or, or yeah, whatever charge anything we need. like that or a computer so. and stuff like that so that's helpful yeah it's, tell them it's gross and everything. Yeah, it's okay. kind of gross right now. Yeah. We just because everything's compact, it's ready to move. Okay. Right. Correct. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. We're leaving right now, so we had to bring the slide in, and so whenever we get to our new place to park, we'll push the slide out, and it opens this up way more, and it's just way more livable in here. But it's perfect for the two of us. Mm -hmm. Living room. Dining room, kitchen, all is right here. <laughs> Here's okay. our refrigerator yep. and our freezer. Mm -hmm. Over here behind the slide is our TV. I mm -hmm. don't know if you can see it. And then our pantry is below the mm -hmm. TV. Our bathroom is right in here, which is really tight. I don't know if you okay. can see, but there's our bathroom. And then there's our bed, also mm -hmm. our living room. It looks like king size. Yeah, yeah so it's actually a... it's uh, two twins. And then you can take this part out and mm. it'll be two twins yeah but uh two twins so yes that way yeah, yeah. Or you, yeah. We or sleep you put the centerpiece way. in and it makes it a king wow so, yeah. yeah very big very yeah. big i love so it so you guys can sleep and uzi, uzi. Yeah. you can sleep together yeah. all two you guys <laughs> very nice yeah, yeah thank that's you. A... okay thank you very much yeah of yeah. course of course i, I really Really appreciate oh. you showing me your beautiful home. Thank you. Okay. This is our home. Yeah. 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 Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>
Go get it. Get the ball, Bison. Ball. Ball. It's a ball, Bison. <laughs>